Hello everyone. In this video we are going to discuss about Edmund Spencer and some of his important works. Spencer was born in 1552 and died in 1599. He is the greatest non-dramatic poet. Spencer was called the poet's poet by Charles Lamb. He is also known as the child of renaissance and reformation. He invented the verse form Spenserian stanza. It contains 9 lines in total, 8 line in iambic pentameter and 9th line in iambic hexameter with the rhyme scheme A B A B B C B C C. Alexander Pope compared Spencer to a mistress whose faults we see but love her with them all. Spencer was buried near the tomb of Geoffrey Chaucer in Westminster Abbey. Now let's discuss some of the major works of Spencer. The first important work is The Shepherd's Calendar which was published in 1579. It is the first major poetic work. The work is based on Virgil's Eclogue. Eclogue is a short poem, especially a pastoral dialogue. In the poem there are 12 eclogues which represent 12 months in a year. The poem is dedicated to Sir Philip Sidney. In this poem, Spencer used archaic words inspired by Chaucer. There is a commentator in the poetry named E.K. He introduced Colin Clout in the poem, who is Spencer himself. The second important work of Edmund Spencer is The Fairy Queen, which was published in 1590. It is an uncompleted epic poem. 24 books were planned by Spencer but only 6 books were completed. Books 1st, 2nd and 3rd were published in 1590 and the other 3 were published in 1596. Spencer invented the verse form Spencerian stanza in this poem. The preface of the poem is a letter written by Spencer to Sir Walter Raleigh. Each book of this poem is dedicated to specific virtues like holiness, temperance, charity, friendship, justice and courtesy. The next poem is Colin Cloud Come Home Again. It is published in 1595. It is a pastoral poem. The poem is a record of the poet's expedition to England in 1591 and it is dedicated to Sir Walter Raleigh. The next major work of Spencer is Amrati. It is published in 1595. It is a part of sonnet sequence Amrati and Epithalamian, which includes 89 sonnets. It is addressed to Spencer's second wife Elizabeth Boyle. The sonnet describes his courtship and eventual marriage with her. Epithalamian. It is published in 1595. It is a part of sonnet sequence Amrati and Epithalamian. It is an ode written to his bride Elizabeth Boyle and describes his wedding day itself. The next major work is Prothalamian. It is published in 1596. Full title is Spousal Verse in Honor of the Double Marriage of Lady Elizabeth and Lady Catherine. It is written in conventional form of marriage song. It is about the marriage of Lady Catherine and Lady Elizabeth, the daughters of Earl of Worcester.